What's up guys and welcome to the channel, this is Tyler Tote. I was given an absolutely amazing opportunity and a gift a couple years ago leading a retreat. I was out here in Vegas, had a group of eight guys with us, we were doing some hard things, some fun things, and then a conversation came up. One of the guys had said earlier in the week that you know he needed patience and to work on patience and to develop that. Then a little bit later he started talking about they got this new puppy and, and all these things and it was bothering him and that was what was stressing him out. One of the other guys in our group looked at him and said, did you ever think perhaps you got that new puppy as a way of God to say to you, hey, I'm gonna help you develop your patience through this. We all started talking deeper about this and, and it really led me to journal a lot that night and come up with a framework and a principle that has actually changed my life and changed a lot of my clients' life too. I'm really fired up about this video. I, I really believe if you practice these principles, you can change your entire mindset, you can change your entire life and the way you view the world. So let's jump right in together. Now, so often in life, and I'm very guilty of this, uh, you know, my first 36, 37 years of life, I would pray for things. I would say, hey, God, help me get more patient. God, you know, help me do these things, right? And oftentimes we'll pray and that's it. That's the end of it. God, I just need to lose weight. Help me lose the weight. Well, you gotta get up and move your feet too. You gotta work for what you pray for. But I think there's a bigger principle behind this too. I think so often God will give us what we need to develop it. We just don't see it. Now, let me tell you guys a little story. I'm sitting in my car, I'm driving my boys to a playland, uh, we're having a great time. All of a sudden we look up ahead. There is a massive accident. We are dead stopped. I got a, a year and a half year old and another year and a half year old in my back seat. I don't know how long we're gonna be stopped for. Plug in the GPS, is there any way to get out of this mess? No. <laughs> it's now saying it's gonna take us like an hour and 15 minutes to get to a 10 minute away playland. An hour goes by. 90 minutes goes by, we are stuck. We don't move for close to two hours. Now, this principle that I talked about that I learned at the retreat saved my life right here. The old Tyler would have been like, man, we're trapped, this sucks, the day's ruined, there's nothing I can do, the boys are there. Instead, the powerful reframe and how you can use this to apply to your life every single day, I first took a moment, deep breath, and I said, you know, God, I pray for patience all the time. I'd love to be a more patient person. Thank you for this opportunity. I mean, look, what an opportunity. I've got two kids in the back seat that don't want to be there. I don't want to be here. <laughs> We're stuck. Nothing's moving. If you know kids at all, year and a half year olds don't want to be strapped in. They're screaming. What a perfect opportunity now for me to grow my patience. I probably said this out loud 15 to 20 times during this next two hours deep breath. Hey God, thank you again for this opportunity to grow my patience. Now look, I pulled out all the dad tricks. We were playing the I spy, put on your binoculars, going on a bear hunt, trying to tickle him in the back, anything I could to keep him going. But I'll be honest, after an hour, they were done with it. They were just screaming at the top of their lungs, out, 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 <laughs> like toddlers do. Now again, I could choose to let that ruin my day. I could choose to say, man, why me? Why me? Why am I stuck in traffic with these two-year-olds? Instead, I flipped that. I viewed life almost like a video game for this next couple hours. And I said, what a chance to level up. Hey God, I pray for patience. Maybe you delivered this for me to help grow my patience. And I really challenged myself and said, man, if I can keep my energy level high and my patience up here through this, how much easier will it look on a normal day-to-day -day basis where I'm not stuck in traffic for two hours. So I went back to that principle that I learned from my really wise friend on that retreat and just said, you know, hey, you're praying for patience. Now you've got a new puppy. Maybe God delivered that puppy to you to help you grow your patience. Now we can flip anything like this in life. And I really believe this becomes a cheat code for life. My wife will often hear me say, even when bad or stressful things happen now, I believe it's all working for me. Maybe God put that in my life right there to help me grow through this. Now, the powerful question you have to ask, and this is the main point of this speech, and if you take away one thing, this is it. You never again say, why? Why me? Man, why me? Why is my boss riding me? Man, why am I stuck in traffic? Why did I get the bad diagnosis? Why is my wife or spouse or this coming at me all the time? Why? Instead, you flip that and you say, what? 
what am I supposed to learn through this? What's the lesson that I need to learn to get better at through this situation? What? Instead of why God, what God? What are you teaching me through this? When you flip that in your head, everything in life works for you. It is all working to create the best version of you. There are no trials. There are no setbacks. It's all opportunities and it's all a blessing. And guys, when you choose, and this is a choice, to pause, gather yourself, and in any stressful situation, you can take a couple deep breaths, reset this in your mind, and say, what am I supposed to learn through this? Super stressful day at work. Millions of clients in and out. I'm dealing with a boss on my throat. I'm dealing with what a tie you don't understand. I got all these things coming at me. Pause, take a moment. What am I supposed to learn through this? Maybe it's to be a little more calm in the storm. Maybe God's using this to prepare you for another season in your life that's gonna be better, and you need to conquer this before you can go up another level. So guys, this isn't gonna be a super long video. This isn't gonna be me preaching at you, but I really want to hammer this point home. Anything in your life can be a blessing for you if you choose to make it that way. If you ask yourself the right question, if you slow down, be intentional, be mindful. For me, it takes that couple deep breaths. I'm really big into this. I even, my daughter is about to turn eight. I will tell her sometimes when I see her, we're rushing here, we're frantic here, I'll put my hands on her and I'll say, take a couple deep breaths. Now, what's that really do? You know, 95% of our life, we're on autopilot. We're just doing the things we're doing. That's why habits are so important because we're just doing what we're doing normally on autopilot. What we do when we take that few deep breaths and we become mindful, and we start to intentionally say, I wanna ask these different questions. I wanna intentionally choose to view my life in this way. It's all working for me. This is a gift. This is an opportunity. This is something I can grow through. So I wanna challenge you today. Next time you're in a stressful situation, stressful environment, you're stuck in traffic, whatever that thing might be, take a couple deep breaths shift from subconscious to conscious and remind yourself this is an opportunity this might be something you're terrible at that you now have an opportunity to grow and get better at and guys the same way we work our muscles at the gym our minds are exactly the same you don't go to the gym on day one and oh man i walked out i'm a shredded beast <laughs> you go for a long time and you get gradual results as you go this is no different the more you practice this the more you'll journal about this, the more you'll be mindful about this, taking a few deep breaths a day, really intentional about this is how I wanna live my life, it is a cheat code. You cannot lose when you view life as everything is working for me, it's all an opportunity, it's all a blessing. I have no trials in my life, I have no setbacks. I won't allow my mind to go there, and it's just a cheat code to keep going and keep winning and keep getting to new levels. So guys, I hope this video has been great for you and I hope you have some takeaways. I will never forget my boy Nick Anderson when he brought this up a couple years ago at a retreat. It really changed my life. I journaled about it a lot. I decided I'm gonna work on this. This is something that I wanna get better at. So I hope I've inspired somebody out there today. I hope you're watching this and you say, hey, I would like to live my life like that too. It sounds better. Instead of me losing power and losing control in a stressful environment, I gamify it. I flip it and I say, hey, I'm in control. I'm gonna grow through this. I'm gonna get better at this. Imagine a life lived like that. Imagine where you can go if you keep getting better at this. A year from now, you could look back, not even recognize yourself. So I issued that challenge to you guys today. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Go have the best day of your life. Bless up, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Let's go change the world. Have a great day, baby.